All right, guys. Here I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic platformer. This will not be a scrolling platformer, although I might make a tutorial on how to do that later. First, paint a new sprite. Call it player. For this, you can add more animations later. But um, when you're making a game, it's good to have a hitbox um, because when it's irregular shapes, if um, you have like an animation and you say the arm moves or something, and then now there's has to redo the collision and the position is basically like not suitable for it now. Like it worked when its arm was at its side, but now its arm is in the level and like, or something. So we can just use a square right now. Um, you can always, um, I can show you how to do a different thing um, later. So make a player and then make a level. Um, the level can just be something really simple. Um, I'm just going to draw a level that will demonstrate everything that we are going to be doing in the tutorial. Um, so I'll make a slope because um, there's going to be slope protection. And yeah, I'll make a wall. I'll make more walls something like this and well I guess it works it's not anything special but it'll work um okay so then go to the player so first we'll get a one flag click and we're gonna oh yeah I'm on turbo warp right now um it's a website that's basically the same as scratch um, you can just do different, like, you just have, like, it has a few better functions, like, the cleanup blocks is better, um, and stuff. So, I, I, you can, everything I'm doing is gonna, you can do this on Scratch. So, um, we're gonna need two new variables for the sprite only. Um, X velocity, which is gonna be, like, the speed X, and then Y velocity, um, for the sprite only, which is gonna be, like, this. The, the speed Y. So when clicked, we're gonna, when the green flag is clicked, we're gonna set them both to zero and then we're gonna position it. You can make yours go wherever you want. I'm gonna just go to the center. And then we're gonna have a forever loop. Forever. Um, physics. Um, and then run without screen refresh. And you can add an input called speed jump height, gravity, and friction. So this will just make it easier to change all of these if you don't want to have to go and redesign the scripts. Okay, so then physics, we'll say speed of like, I don't know, one, oh, jump height of like 15, gravity, negative one, Friction 0.9. Okay, so if we clean this up and then say first we're gonna change the y velocity by by our gravity, so it will go down. Then we can say if key right arrow pressed on um, this can be basically whatever key you want for the right for the right movement basically change x velocity by speed and then just do the same thing for the left arrow but it's going to be moving the opposite direction so we can say speed times um negative one which will just basically do the opposite so it'll be a negative number and it will be moving backwards it, and since the direction is 90 um so it's pointing right so that's why um the speed is just normal for right. If we said negative 90, it would be different, but only if we were using move step blocks because um, changes, change X bys don't actually matter. Um, I mean, like the direction doesn't really matter. Then we can say set X velocity to X velocity times friction. 
What this will do is basically just make the x velocity slowly get smaller. And so we show x velocity and then, oh yeah, one more thing. Change x by x velocity. So now we should see that the player is moving smoothly and as if there were friction. Yay. Okay, so now we can make some slope detection. Um, we can say if touching level, then we can change the y by one. So it'll go up one pixel. We can duplicate this however many times we want to be, however many pixels high we want the slope to be able to be. So I, I'm gonna do it eight times. So that would allow it to go up anything 45 degrees or less. So, um, so yeah, so it'll, it's going up eight times, but if by the end of this loop, it's, it's still touching the level, even after it went all the way up, and we're gonna change the Y by negative eight, so we'll go back down because that would mean it, it's a wall. And then we'll say repeat until we are not touching the level. We can, um, so we hit a wall, so we wanna um, get out of it. So we'll change X by the absolute value of, of the X velocity. Um, Divide it by the x velocity. So, divided by x velocity. And then we'll t do it by negative one because we want it to go out of the slope. I mean, out of the wall. Um, it wouldn't be a slope if we are, if we've gotten this far in the script. So then we will say, then we will, I'm gonna actually show you guys how to make wall jumping. So we can make an if else and put another if else inside. So first we're gonna check if the up arrow is pressed because if it's not, we don't wanna wall jump. Then we can say, we wanna figure out if the x velocity is greater than zero. Um, if it's greater than zero, which would mean we're moving to the right, then we want to set the x velocity to something like negative 10. So it'll bounce off the wall. Else, we can set it to 10, because that would mean that it was moving left and we want it to bounce off. Then we can set the x velocity to zero here, but we also need to set the y velocity right here when the up arrow is pressed. And we can say something like jump height plus like three, maybe. Um, I'm not sure how good this will work, but I think it's good. To jump height plus three. Then, we can, so if it's, if the up arrow isn't pressed, we're just gonna go ahead and set the X velocity to zero. Then we can change our Y by the Y velocity. So now we will have, um, we'll have gravity. Then we can, um, so then we're gonna just duplicate this pretty much on um, this repeat until right here. Um, cause we are now gonna do the floor detection. So it's pretty much the same. Um, we can just change that to a change Y. And make sure to change these to Y though. And then make sure to also put this in an if. And make sure that we actually are touching the level. And then we will just set our Y value to zero because, um, cause we don't wanna keep going up. Then we will say, um, so our slope detection, because of it, is actually making us hover one pixel above the ground. So we're going to change the Y by negative one so that we can check if we are touching the level. And then we can say, and, oh, whoops, I'm stuck. Key up arrow is pressed. So this will be for the jumping. And the jumping is actually pretty simple can just say, whoops, sorry, set YVEL to just jump height. So then, 
once we set it to jump height, then we're gonna change the Y by one again, so it goes back to normal and it won't mess up our slope detection. Now, if we try it, yay, it's working great. Um, I will actually change the, the, the wall jumping height, maybe. Um, yeah, we can just set it to jump height plus zero. Yeah, we can just set it to jump height. Um, I might change the gravity to a little more like negative 1.3. And maybe I will change the friction to 0 0.8 and the physics to two. I mean, uh, the speed to two. So now there's not as much friction. Um, you fall a little faster. Um, it, I felt like it was kind of floating there. And then you can also maybe change, set this to like negative 15 or positive 15. So it'll just, there. And there, um, and there's basically basics to an easy platformer. I mean, you can make different levels. Um, it's pretty easy. You could just make, um, say if the x is greater than something or you could um, make something for it to be touching and then you could see if it's touching it then you could like change the level by one and broadcast a message to start the next level and then if you wanted to do that you could just say like in the level you could forever switch the costume to like level so yeah and well i think that's it um hope you enjoyed this tutorial